सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद मॉड्यूल टू ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एम्बेडेड सिस्टम इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैड कवर्ड विद द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एम्बेड सिस्टम एंड द लेटर वी हैव कवर्ड द क्वालिटी एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ द एम्बेड सिस्टम इन द सेकेंड वीडियो सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद वन इम्पॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एन एम्बेड सिस्टम विच इज वाइडली यूज बाय मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल ओके application and domain specific embedded system that is washing machine okay so this one question is uh, repeated multiple times so that's why i thought to do this okay washing machine it is an application specific embedded system so this application specific means i've already told you multiple times that is it is used to perform some certain task okay and it it won't be adaptable to any other embedded system okay it is just the application specific okay what application is required for that particular embedded system to work it would be using for that only it won't be using for any other purpose okay so that the, here is one simple example that is washing machine okay so washing machine mostly all of people all of the people are using in the in your home so washing machine is a typical example of an embedded system providing extensive support in home automation applications okay an embedded system contains this embedded system contains sensors actuators control unit and application specific user interfaces like keyboards display units etc okay all these components can be seen in a washing machine so you see one uh, this they have given one pictorial representation this is the complete washing machine so these are the things which are present inside the washing machine so this is one integrated control panel with user interface so here what we had is what we have is the Uh, if you want to set anything that that would be present in this control panel so this is the level sensor so this level sensor would deals with the water level that uh, this is the front front model and here this is one top model okay so in the front model in washing machines are basically of two types right this was this is front model and this is top model so in the top model uh, it, it would be checking the level sensor it would be checking the water level when it reaches at this point it would be automatically turned off okay so this is the water inlet pipe where the water would be uh, getting inside the washing machine and this is the water outlet outlet pipe after the uh, clothes are uh, washed then the water is uh, get uh, leaven out from by this water outlet so this is the inner tub outer tub body case temperature sensor okay which would deals with the temperature and this is the these are the key pads which is used to control this washing machine and led display shows the uh, required temperature water level everything in the display okay so here they have used this seven segment display here this is the user interface so yeah now let us see the explanation here the actuator part of the washing machine consists of the motorized agitator tumble tub water drawing pump that is which has a water inlet and outlet so these are the water drawing pumps to control the flow of water into the unit the sensor part consists of the water temperature sensor level sensor etc the control part contains the microprocessor or controller based uh, based board with interfaces to the sensors and actuators the sensor data is fed back to the control unit and the control unit generates the necessary actuator outputs so the control unit also provides the connectivity to user interfaces like keypad for setting the washing time selecting the type of material to be washed like light medium heavy duty everything could be the setting by this user interface that is keypad okay user feedback is reflected through the display unit and leds connected to the control board okay so the washing machine comes in two models namely top loading and front loading machines which i already told you so here this in this case this is the front loading where the door is here and uh, uh, when you open the door the clothes are filled from here only this is the front front model and here this is the top model where uh, the the older in olden days the top model was used uh, the most nowadays the in the modern generation this front models are in a demand okay in top loading models the agitator of the machine twists back and forth and pulls the clothes down to bottom of the tub on reaching the bottom of the tub the clothes work their uh, their way back up to the top top of the tub where the agitator grabs them again and repeats the mechanism so this is the working uh, inside this uh, machine what and all it's going to happen it they have told you in the front loading machines the clothes are tumbled and plunged into the water over and over again okay this is the first phase of washing in the second phase of washing the water is pumped out from the tub and the inner tub uses the 
centrifugal force to wring out more water from the clothes okay that is the whatever uh, the first what they do is whatever water is present in the machine that is first pulled out after that uh, that inner tub is used to suck water from the clothes okay the unnecessary water from the clothes okay so in order to make the clothes lighter okay this is called as spin phase the inner tub of the machine contains of number of holes and during the spin cycle the inner tub spins and forces the water out through these holes to the stationary outer tub from which it is drained off through the outlet pipe okay so this is the complete working here so i won't uh, read each and every line so you please read it you will understand it okay so this was all about the washing machine so please uh, note it down so one more is automotive automotive domain specific embedded system in this we are going to discuss with one uh, important uh, 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 embedded system which is used commonly that is no need of saying this you understood by the picture only this is a car okay the major application domains of embedded system are consumer industrial automotive telecom etc so the figure below gives an overview of the various type of electronic control units employed op automotive applications you see here this is a picture of a car and the cars contain contain these many parts here that is this is the engine control where the engine is pro here instrumentation that is uh, all the instruments that is a uh, steering wheel brakes and uh, etc then air conditioner power steering airbag control seat control that is a uh, uh, if you want to see put the pull the seat back and forth that is there mirror control that uh, that is uh, bringing the mirror up and down power windows then we have centralized locking suspension control okay suspension control then wiper control abs control headlamp control fuel injection control fan control everything okay so these are the things which are present in this automotive application that is a car okay the automotive embedded systems are one where electronics take control over the mechanical systems the presence of automotive embedded system in which a vehicle varies from a simple mirror and the wiper controls to complex airbag controller and anti lock brake systems the automotive embedded systems are normally built around microcontrollers or dsps or a hybrid of the two a hybrid of the two and are generally known as electronic control units okay ecus the number of embedded controllers in an ordinary vehicle varies from 20 to 40 whereas a luxury vehicle like mercedes s and bmw 7 may contain around 75 to 100 numbers of embedded controllers okay so this is one uh, simple where it has uh, 15 to 20 controllers but whereas if you want to go to some hi-fi cars that is mercedes bmw or rolls royce they would be having more number of controllers okay so the first embedded system used in automotive application was the microprocessor based fuel injection system introduced by Volkswagen in 1600 Volkswagen 1600 in 1968 okay so this was the first embedded system the electronic control units ECUs used in automotive embedded industry can be broadly classified into two categories that is high speed ECUs that is HECUs and one more is low speed ECUs okay so high speed ECUs are deployed in critical control units whereas uh, low speed ecus are deployed in applications where response time is not so critical okay yeah so here we see here the different types of uh, serial interface buses used in these automotive industries that is one is controller area network that is can bus okay then we have a local interconnect network that is lin bus okay controller area network can bus then we have media oriented system transport that is MOST bus okay most bus so key players of the automotive embedded market okay uh, the some of the key players or uh, factors which are required in the embedded market are uh, three verticals namely silicon providers tools and platform providers so uh, silicon providers in silicon providers are responsible for providing necessary chips which is required for the uh, building of the automotive embedded system so along with that we have tools and platform providers and solution providers okay so these are some of the theories which are uh, uh, which i don't want to waste time in reading it you could be understanding by reading it okay so yeah these were the things which i wanted to discuss in this video so that's all for this video guys we have discussed with one important uh, application and domain specific application that is a uh, washing machine as well as automotive in an automotive sector we have discussed one embedded system that is car okay 
so that's all for this video guys please like share subscribe to our channel keep supporting us and keep watching our videos okay upcoming videos are going to come in a short amount of time so please stay tuned for that so that's all guys thank you we'll see you in the next video